Listen to this if you want to build endurance and stamina, but you don't want to lose any muscle. Our first caller is Ian from Maryland. Ian, what's happening? How can we help you? Wow, this is Sal, Adam, and Justin, right? That's right. Hey, we're That's all it. here, buddy. Okay, I watch you guys every day. You guys have been a huge inspiration and have really just changed my life in terms of fitness. So I just want to say thank you guys for that so much. You're uh, welcome, man. Awesome. Thanks for listening. Thanks for that compliment, man. All right, so I'm, I'm just going ahead and dive into my question. So I'm going to give you the, a very slight backstory, then get into exactly what um uh, what I actually called for today. So I started working out in October of 2020. And before that, when I was in school, well, college, I didn't really work out a lot. Uh, I ran high school track, so that's when I worked out. But this was my first time really hitting the gym. And I was just doing a split routine and, you know, making steadily good progress, but not really, you know, it was it was pretty decent. It was slow, slow gains, but it was perfectly fine. And then around March is when I was introduced to you guys and you guys were just a huge help, you know, from the tips you guys gave to the full body workouts, every single thing, every single thing that you guys preach on a day to day basis. Uh, really changed up my whole entire whole entire progress. So I was able to, you know, not only increase strength gains by a lot, uh, also gain a lot of muscle mass too. Because um, I was, uh, I think you, you describe it as an ecto ectomorph. I believe yeah. you say okay. it a lot. Uh, Sal, is that how you say it when you were super skinny with a small body type? Yeah, ectomorph or or uh, wimpy like Adam. <laughs> yeah, so I was. <laughs> so I was. I was an ectomorph, super small, won the game muscle, small and that was my priority. And after listening to you guys, you guys, you know, definitely changed up that whole progress. Awesome. So, long story short, I'm at to where a point where I'm at now, where I still want to see strength gains, still want to share plus, still doing positive. But I decided to switch out the workouts because something that I know Justin and you guys talk about consistently is just doing that different plane, working out different planes. So I decided to go ahead and switch from my full body workout routine, which is like a typical five by five to now actually diving into mass performance, which has been great. And I'm at the end of it yeah, right buddy. now. So now I decided to move on to that and go to MAPS OCR. Um, just a quick side note, I did sign up for an absolute, absolute course run because you guys inspired me. It's a Spartan run. But with that being said, though, I still want to be able to maintain my strength gains. And I know that OCR, the way that it's programmed, it's a lot of running involved. So I know that can send competing signals. Signal. So I was asking you guys, uh, what's the best way for, for me to structure MAPS OCR where I can maintain my strength gains or what can I do maybe add in a day or something? I don't know how I should structure it to make sure that I just maintain my strength and my muscle mass and not lose lose it. Yeah, uh, Ian, that's good a good question. question. Mm -hmm. uh, the best answer is to follow MAPS OCRs that's laid out. So every program that we create, the idea is to maximize performance for the specific goal that the program is created for. And part of that is maximizing strength and muscle in relation to the context of the goal. So that means that in OCR training, maximizing strength so long as it contributes to your performance in OCR. So you got to remember something, and <clears throat> strength is uh, can be relatively specific. So a power lifter is going to be stronger than a strongman lifter in specific lifts in a specific context, but a strongman lifter is going to be stronger in a different context, right? And so this is true for all athletes. So strength can be defined in many different ways. I think you're absolutely fine. You're going to go on OCR. Will you lose some strength in your deadlift, squat, and bench? Probably. But you'll gain it in different ways that'll maximize your performance in OCR. And then when you come back. When mm -hmm. you come back, you're just going to be more balanced. And that's really the key, right? Unless you're just looking to work out for a few months and then that's it. But if you're looking at this long term, you're going to see yourself move in and out of different adaptations and goals. And overall, they all contribute to each other to a more balanced, functional, strong, uh, healthy body and physique. Now, that's not to say that he can't manipulate OCR or do some sort of a blend of OCR and like anabolic or performance, right? There's nothing that says you can't do that. And the only thing, excuse me, the only thing that is going to happen, though, if you do that, right? So and, and what I'm hearing is is similar to like maybe the experience I had when I did like a, I did a Tough Mudder. So I did a, something similar, right? And when I did it. 
All I wanted to do was I wanted to be good enough to beat my two buddies that I was going after. I really didn't. I wasn't trying to be the best OCR guy. Yeah. I wasn't trying. I cared more about my physique and my muscle than I cared about like being a top OCR. As long as you beat your out of shape friends. You're That's right. That's all. I just wanted to beat my out of shape friends because I was talking shit one day and they were making fun of me of being like this meatball buff guy. And I said, listen, I could still get out there on one of these fucking obstacle course races and whoop your ass. And so that was all I wanted to do. And, I, and at the same time, I didn't want to sacrifice all the hard work that I put in to build this physique and, and yeah. put all this muscle on. So I trained uh. a little like OCR, but still kind of trained like a meatball, you know, bodybuilder guy. So the, if if that's kind of where you're at, where you're like, hey, I want to get out there and do this OCR thing. Uh. I just want to prove that I can do it. Then there's nothing that says you can't take part of OCR add in a couple of the runs here and there instead of running as much as we have you running in there. Do some of the obstacle course, like strength-specific stuff for like your forearms, which I think you should do because that's going to benefit you because a lot of the things in OCR is like requires good grip strength. But then still kind of run an anabolic type of routine. And basically what I would do is I would just kind of split the week in half and say, you know, half the week I'm doing like an anabolic full-body routine and then the other half I'm kind of following OCR – now, if you do that, um, you're going to sacrifice how good you're going to be at OCR. But if I'm hearing you correctly, that may be less of a priority to you and your strength and maybe your physique is more important to you. Uh, but what Sal is saying is absolutely true, too. Not the, if you were to follow OCR to a T, let go of the fact that you might lose a little bit of strength in your, your deadlift and squat and all that hard work you put in, and then know that when you get out of your OCR training and you get back to anabolic, you get back to strong, you get back to one of our other programs, you're going to blow right back up. And you, I guarantee within that program, you'll catch up and probably surpass your current PR number. So both options are, mm. are, are completely okay. It really depends what do, you, what do you want from this. Yeah, I think there's, I mean, this is a very common fear. I think there's a lot of paranoia around <clears throat> losing the muscle that you work so hard to achieve, but not realizing that, it, you know, as you go back into that type of training, it's going to come back pretty quickly. It's not something that, um, you know, if you do lose a bit of strength gains just because you're focusing more on endurance, I mean, this is a phase, this is a period where now we're hyper-focusing on something that your body's trying to adapt towards that's, you know, in a different direction, but will, you know, benefit the overall. So I honestly, I think that if, you know, if you're comfortable with it to, to really dive into it and do it exactly how it's laid out and you're going to be just fine, you're going to find that you're going to probably enjoy it. Your body's going to have a different sort of a goal to uh, achieve and acquire a new skill that you can improve upon and then come right back and, you know, it's going to be like, uh, you know, you just interrupted it briefly. Yeah, you know, one more thing, Ian. I'm going to make it more specific now, specifically to you. You sent us a question, a written uh, question. There's got more details than what you said on the podcast. Do you mind if I go through some of what Oh, no, that's up? perfectly fine. I just didn't want to hog up you guys' time. So, yeah, yeah that's No, fine. no, I'm going to read off a few things just and for Doug, the- Doug appreciates that, Ian, just so you know. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go through some yeah. of the stuff just for the, the people listening or watching right now. So, in your written uh, question, you had said that you have- Well, you already told us you have a background in track. Um, so, that tells me that you've done a lot of running. You're probably pretty damn good at it. You weigh 151 pounds- and your bench is 245, your squat is 330, and your deadlift is 405, which are ex solid, solid. exceptional numbers for uh, somebody your size. Because of your track background, your body weight, and your strength, uh, I don't think you're going to have trouble with OCR training. Yeah, uh, I think you're going to be totally fine. In fact, I think you could jump in it right now, and you'll do better than most people with almost no training uh, just because of your background. I mean, your body weight to strength ratio is so high – that you know, cr you know, going across bars and stuff like that with your hands is not going to be as hard as somebody who weighs, you know, two hundred uh, plus pounds. So keep that in mind as well. Uh, you know, consider that you're 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 in better you're, you're in a better position than most people anyway, just because of your training background. The biggest challenge people have with OCR is the running and the stuff that has to do with the grip. Those mm -hmm. are the two most common complaints uh, or you know concerns that people have after they do an OCR race. But you already got the running down. I think you're probably going to be fine with the running. The hand stuff, yeah, I'd say you're probably okay. If you can pull 405 at 151, you're probably going to be okay. Maybe work on some stamina with that. So I wouldn't worry too much. And then the last thing I'll say is this. People are so worried 
after they gain muscle that if they lose it, it's going to take as long as it took them the first time nah, to gain it back. Even easier. It's super fast. Once you gain it, like that's the hard part. The first time is the first time you gain muscle is the hard part. The second, third, fourth, fifth time, way different. It's way different and way easier. So if you do lose five pounds of muscle, and maybe before it took you four or five months to gain it, you'll gain it back in yeah. a few weeks. I mean, don't, sel- don't trip. Selfishly, uh, you know, if I was your coach, I, I would actually love to see you run OCR to a T and see with your background and already where your strength to weight yeah, ratio is. Like a top. Uh, yeah, I think you could actually. I think you could probably be a top guy that finishes in his first, you know, first OCR race. So there's a selfish part of me as a coach. I'd be like, let's see what we can, let's see what we could do right. with your, We're gonna hook your you up with Hunter McIntyre. Yeah, your abilities already. I bet we could make you win this goddamn thing. Yeah, you've almost got the perfect body type uh, for OCR, your body weight and your strength uh, and your background. Yeah. And with your competitive background, I'm going to assume you're a competitive individual. Have some fun with it, man. Go out there and and see what you can do. Uh, Maybe it's something you fall in love with and it becomes a new passion. Well, I I will. Thank you guys so much. And I I guess I know I'm only fast in one, but a quick question, what should I run after this? What should you run after this? Ooh, well, you've done the map go back to strength I, for sure. Yeah, I would go. Uh, have you done map strong? Strong, yeah. No, I haven't. I was really, that was my next one I wanted to look into. Yeah, yeah. we'll we'll send that to you. Yeah. Even if you don't have that, I'll send that over to you. It's okay? a good follow up. Oh, thank you, thank you guys so much. You got it, man. Thanks for thanks for listening to the show. Appreciate it. Of course, thank you, thank you guys. Have a great day. You, you got too. It. Yeah, I, I get the. By the way, I want to be clear. When I give advice, or when all of us give advice on the podcast we're in trainer mode. That doesn't mean that we don't uh, feel the same way when it's our own selves. I oh, yeah. know what, even now yeah. at but That's my why age, I wanted to share that. Totally. Because yeah. I, I was exactly, well, I can't say I was exactly like this because he's got a runner background and I don't, I don't know what his motivation of OCR is, but I was in a point, it was literally, this was, we were playing video games, my two best friends and myself, mm-hmm. we we're playing video games, we were doing this something. This starts. Yeah, exactly, right? <laughs> Probably smoking some weed, yeah. right? And, <laughs> and they taught, maybe I was smoking weed and that's what they were making fun of me and they were making fun of me that I, I, I didn't have I won't have the endurance because I smoke and now I'm all this like big meathead and I was just like no I'll get out there and smoke your both your asses right now and yeah. that and they're both ex athletes from school when we were kids and stuff like did, that did you end up beating him by the way I did, I did. <laughs> I did. so and shout I, and out to the I, although it was fucking hard I'm not gonna lie like because I did I did have this attitude of like listen I just need to train a little bit you know a little mm. bit of cardio and get my cardio up there uh, and then I'll be able to and maybe some grip strength stuff because I was pretty I think at that time I was like 230 225 somewhere around there so yeah. I was, I was did kinda, you guys have to dive in that cold water for the plunge for- so I did tough Tough Mudder and Tough oh, Mudder, okay. I think, is a little bit easier than Spartan. Spartan's a little more running. Like Tough Mudder, they do, uh, or excuse me, not Tough Mudder. I'm sorry, uh, Muddy Buddy. So oh, they actually buddy. you split half running, half biking, mm. and you have a partner, and you kind of you go mm. back and forth. So, anyways, the Doug, po- Doug later on Google Muddy Buddy. Look yeah. up, look up <laughs> pictures, if you don't mind. It's definitely a genre. <laughs> my point, my point though, of bringing that up so he knows is that I know as a coach. I would want him to run through OCR, stick to it just the way it is, understand that yeah. when he gets out of that, he's going to be totally fine. But I also, his his probably his sentiment, it resonates with oh, me. Oh, totally. Because I didn't do that. I didn't go from Meathead Adam training to like, oh, I'm going to train OCR like because I'm going to go do yeah, and it. And I'll gain the muscle Whoa. back real easy. Yeah, no, I was like, I, I cared so much about what I had built and I, and I didn't want to, even if it was a short regression back and I know better, I was like, eh, I don't need to. I could, yeah. but then- I, my, but I'm, I want to be very clear. My goal wasn't to be the best OCR race. I just needed to beat my two fucking slept friends here. Like that's all I needed to do. Like I did not. I now, hope they listen to the podcast. Now, if I, if I, one of them does, right? <laughs> if I wanted to be the best OCR racer, I would have absolutely committed to training yeah. like an OCR racer, like what we wrote the program. Yeah, I, I get it too. It's like you know, I know if I lost five pounds of muscle, it would be easy to gain it back. That still doesn't mean I don't freak out if there's an opportunity to lose five pounds of right. muscle. It still doesn't like, mean you don't want to either. Exactly. I still I get it. I totally get it. But the advice that we're giving is is accurate, even if we don't necessarily take it ourselves sometimes. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.